Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this ammo box from Harbor Freight into a battery box for your bio -inno battery. We'll get started right after this. Welcome back or to the channel. If this is your first time here, please do me a favor and click the like. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Some of the tools you're going to need is a 1 and 8 inch hole saw, some step drill bits, regular drill bits, and a drill. You also need some wire strippers, wire crimpers, and the crimping tool for the power poles. A couple of additional tools you may need is a Dremel, file, and an awl for starting the, a pilot hole for your drill. You also need some connectors. I'm going to be using 12 gauge wire from PowerWorks, as well as 30 amp hour power pole connectors. The battery I'm going to be using is the BioNO. 12 volt, 20 amp hour. I did another video on this battery. Put a link up in the top right corner for you. The box I'm going to be using for this is from Harbor Freight. Tactical ammo box, $7.99. You can probably find a coupon and save an additional 20 to 25 percent. Has a lot of storage room. Comes with a removable tray. Put the battery in, you still got a lot of room. Put a bigger battery if you want. Of course, that will increase your weight. I'm going to be putting the, all the gauges and stuff underneath here. That way everything's protected from the elements and prying eyes. First thing I'm going to do is put the gauges in. I'll put a parts list in the description below. It's for the power poles. Binding clip and power switch. Okay, time to drill the holes with all the gauges. There you go, got three of the gauges in. Let's throw in the posts. Okay, got the holes for the posts drilled. Okay, now I figure we'll put the power switch down here. It's three quarters of an inch. Best way to do that is with a step, step bit. And the last one is the PowerWorks panel pole. There you go. We got all the gauges and everything we need in. Now let's get the wiring going. What I'm going to be using to distribute the power is the PowerWorks PD8. Okay, now we've got all the wiring hooked up. Let's see if this works. I'm going to have to organize this wiring a bit in the future. All right, we've got power. 
Try out the USB with the FT2980. Alrighty, they work. And I still have plenty of room for the BioNO solar charger and extra wire. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And check out some of these other videos. Thanks again.